Hey guys, Angus here. I'm um, going to review the Primal Strength Hip Thrust Bar. Um, I reviewed this uh, GHD uh, Hip Thrust Station um, maybe a couple of years ago. Uh, still using it, still love it. One of the things that I didn't get as much use out of was the actual hip thrust because hip thrusts have this problem where getting in and out of the hip thrust isn't that great. Sometimes it doesn't look that great. And if you're training a variety of clients, you have super serious clients that will do anything you, you ask them to do, and then some other people will kind of just generally not like a movement despite how good that movement will be. I have to apologize for the noise next door, they're drilling and making something. Um, hip thrust bar from Primal Strength kind of alleviates that. Since we've had it, we've had it about two, three weeks, we got it when it just got released. It's been used loads, it's universally loved by everyone. It's actually been a really great bit of kit. I'm gonna quickly run through what, what makes it great. I haven't seen a review video for this, so I thought some people might wanna go like, is it worth it? Is it something you should buy? Run over a couple of the stats on it. Um, I got it on release date, it was £149. I think it retails for £200. Primal Strength have the license for the UK. Um, I'll do my best to pop descriptions in the box or update it at some point, so have a look uh, for links to find out how you can get one. Is it worth it? Yeah, we've got a lot of specialist bars here. We've got um, a trap bar over there, we've got safety squat bar, we've got neutral grip handle bars and footballer bars for pressing. I think specialty bars are great. Hip thrust is a great movement. Um, I probably just require a bar of its own. So I'll give you a quick uh, and glamorous demo. So the bar just rolls on you. I don't know if you can see this uh, properly. Nightmare setting up the camera. Anyway. It's got a nice big pad on it, you grab these handles, so you roll it towards you, grab the handles, rotate it, that allows you a little bit of space to get nicely set up underneath it, make sure you are where you want to be, rotate, bring your hips up into it, do the movement, down, down, roll away, next person can jump in, add more weight to it, you've got hooks for bands, I think it's a great bit of kit, it really goes in, but one kind of small gripe with it or the one thing that, it's quite a big bar, it does fold over and go in a corner, I don't have anything to hook and store it on, I mean that's more my problem than the design of it, it is quite large so if you have a really small space you might want to consider it, if you have a dedicated hip thrust area, definitely something you should consider having. Uh, for your gym, if you're training on your own in your garage and you do a lot of hip thrust, definitely something you should think about picking up. Um, I think it's a great bar. We've added more hip thrust into our programming here because generally it's just a lot easier to use for a variety of people. You've got different settings on it here. Um, as I was reading about 90% of people want it on the lowest setting for the bar. You can't have it higher if you're dealing with larger men and power lifters and things like that. We like it, it's been used, um, it's universally loved. The pad itself is huge, it's comfortable, it makes hip thrusts comfortable, you don't have to worry about all these sort of things. You don't have to worry about rolling up your, your legs anymore, you've got space to do it. It's a great thing, there's loads of videos on YouTube on how to use it and, and stuff. I just wanted to give my, what I thought about it. I think it's a great bit of kit, I'm, I'm glad I bought it. Um, definitely a good investment for the gym. Definitely a good bit of kit. Um, if you've got any questions, as usual, pop them in the in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and all that nonsense.